when one thinks of that little boy, mm -hmm. that little boy scout being sent out of town, losing his home at his daddy's store, going to this terrible camp in Wyoming, and coming back and being a member of the city council, the mayor of an important American city, going to Congress and being one of the leaders in Congress, and then topping it off by being a member of the president's cabinet. It's just a great American story. In the spring of 1942, anti-Japanese hysteria was sweeping the country. It was only five months after the bombing of Pearl Harbor and the entry of the United States into World War II. The U.S. government ordered 120,000 Japanese Americans to be rounded up and sent to internment camps. These were American citizens this happened to. This wasn't some foreign nation that suddenly plopped a bunch of spies in the United States. These were American-born citizens of this country who happened to be of Japanese ancestry and so it was damaging to this country and damaging to the, the basic principles that hold us as a democracy. Like many other Japanese Americans, the Mineta family of San Jose was evicted from their home, loaded onto a train and shipped to the U.S. relocation and internment camp in Hart Mountain, Wyoming. Norman Mineta was 11 years old. On the day that we left San Jose to board the trains to go to camp was the second time I saw my dad cry because as we were pulling out of San Jose on the train, uh, he was crying. And uh, that was, uh, I was wearing my Cub Scout uniform, baseball, baseball glove and baseball bat. And as I got on the train, the MPs confiscated the bat on the basis it could be used as a lethal weapon. At Harp Mountain, it really started sort of sink in about what was happening to us. And I remember someone was saying that we're in these camps for our own protection. And even as a 11 year old kid, I think, well, if we're in here for our own protection, and there were these guard towers every two, 300 feet, searchlights and machine gun mounts, I used to always think as I looked up at them, if we're in here for our protection, then why are the machine guns pointed in at us and not out? You, you say to yourself, you're a prisoner of war in your own country.